Praise the Lord and hallelujah. Papa will give you all the glory, the praise and all the honor. Thank you so, so much for the gift of another beautiful day. Thank you, O oh God, for how far you have brought us. And as we journey through, O oh God, we journey in this life, we pray the Lord Jesus, you lead us to the end of our journey. Father, we thank you for you have a life lifespan for each and every one of us. We pray that you continue to protect us so that we will live to the fullest of God. Long life, prosperity, and good health. Thank you so much. We pray, Spirit of God, that you feed our souls today to help us understand you better in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the verses 50 to the end. 50 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 50 to 58, yes. Okay, let's hear the word of God. What I'm saying, dear brothers and sisters, is that our physical bodies cannot inherit the kingdom of God. These dying bodies cannot inherit, inherit what God, cannot inherit what will last forever. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. We will not all die. But we will all be transformed. It will happen in a moment, in the blink of an eye, when the last trumpet is blown. For when the trumpet sounds, those who have died will be raised to live forever. And we who are living will also be transformed. For our bodies, <coughs> sorry, for our bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Then when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, the scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? For sin is a sting that results in death, and the law gives sin its power. But thank God, he gives us victory over sin and uh, death through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. I want to repeat the last verse, which is verse 58. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Brethren in the Lord, today Paul Paul's word is drawing our attention to it that this body, this body will die. When we look at this body, we see change and decay. We see many things changing in our lives. We see them. When you see your pictures of old and you compare it to today, you definitely see a drastic change. So this body will gradually die and decay. But the soul that lives in us should have a better place because the, the soul will never die. When God takes his spirit away from us, it is left with the soul because the body is clay and it will return to clay. So where are you spending eternity? Where is your soul going to? Where? On which road are you now? Where do you think you are going? And remember that whatever we do for the Lord, we should do it enthusiastically. From the very, from deep within our hearts, let us serve the Lord with all our might. That is why Jesus divided the, the commandments. He summarized it and put it in two sections. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, everything. 
and love your neighbor as yourself. So whatever we do, we should come out of our hearts and do it enthusiastically as if we are doing it for the Lord. As if we know that we will have result, we'll have rewards and then we will also give accounts of whatever we did here on this earth. Brethren in the Lord, we all need to be evangelists for the Lord because as for the word, it is for every Christian to share. Share this word and give hope to someone who has lost hope. Tell the person that the soul will continue to live. Where will you spend eternity?